Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to represent scalar multiplication graphically by scaling vectors and possibly reversing their direction. We will also perform scalar multiplication component wise and we will compute magnitude and direction of scalar multiple. First of all we shall discuss scalar multiplication multiplying a vector with a number is called scalar multiplication. The number is called scalar because it does not have a direction. Now, the product of a scalar C and a vector that is A vector is a vector with the same direction as vector A and its magnitude will be C into magnitude of vector A where C is greater than 0 and if C is less than 0 then we take its positive value for magnitude. We can denote magnitude or length of vector A by magnitude of vector A that is by taking absolute value of vector A or norm of vector A or simply A. For example, if we have any vector A and we multiply this vector with a scalar 2, then we will get a new vector, say vector B, which is equal to twice of vector A and its magnitude that is magnitude of vector B will be equal to 2 into magnitude of vector A. Now, if the scalar C is negative, that is, suppose we multiply vector A by scalar minus of 2, then we get a new vector that is vector B which is equal to minus 2 into vector A that is minus 2 vector A. It means the resulting vector will be in opposite direction to the given vector A because here scalar is equal to minus 2 which is less than 0. Also its magnitude will be absolute value of minus 2 into magnitude of vector A. Which implies that magnitude of vector B will be equal to 2 into magnitude of vector A. Because absolute value of minus 2 is equal to 2. Now let us see it with the help of a figure. Now, if we have any vector A, that is, this is vector A. Now here we see that twice of vector A is equal to vector A plus vector A, that is, at terminal point of vector A, we have again drawn vector A in the same direction and equal magnitude. Now, see this resulting vector that is vector B which is equal to twice of vector A and its magnitude is twice the length of vector A and if we take opposite direction, then the resultant vector is minus 2 vector A and its magnitude is also twice the length of 
वेक्टर ए लेट अस एग्जामिन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ माइनस ऑफ वन बाय थ्री इन टू वेक्टर ए सी हेयर वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड वेक्टर ए विथ स्केलर माइनस ऑफ वन बाय थ्री सो हेयर C is equal to minus of one by three, which is less than zero. Thus, the direction of this vector will be opposite to vector A, and its magnitude will be one by three into magnitude of vector A, which means its length will be one third of the length of the given vector A. Now we shall discuss scalar multiplication component wise. Now suppose we have vector A, which is given by the ordered pair one three, and we have to find two into vector A. We know that twice of vector A is given by vector A plus vector A. So this is equal to the ordered pair one three plus the ordered pair one three, which is equal to the ordered pair one plus one, three plus three, which is equal to the ordered pair two six. So two into vector a is given by the ordered pair two six. In other words. We say that we multiply each component of vector a by scalar two. That is, two into vector a is equal to two into the ordered pair one three, which is equal to the ordered pair two into one, two into three, that is equal to the ordered pair two six. Thus, in general. If we have vector with components x, y, then scalar multiplication c into ordered pair x, y will be equal to the ordered pair c x c y, where c is greater than zero or less than zero. Now we are going to discuss magnitude of component wise scalar multiplication. Suppose we have vector a, which is equal to the ordered pair six eight, and if we want to find magnitude of minus three into vector a, which is denoted by the absolute value of minus three into vector a, or norm of minus three into vector a. First of all, let us find magnitude of vector A, which is given by square root of six square plus eight square, and this is equal to square root of thirty-six plus sixty-four. That is equal to square root of hundred, which is equal to ten. So magnitude of vector A is equal to ten. Now let us find minus three into vector a, which is given by minus three into ordered pair six eight, that is equal to the ordered pair minus three into six minus three into eight, which is equal to the ordered pair minus eighteen minus twenty four. So. Minus of three into vector a is given by the ordered pair minus eighteen minus twenty four. Now we find its magnitude. So magnitude of minus three into vector a is equal to square root of minus eighteen whole square plus minus twenty four whole square. And this is equal to square root of 
minus 18 whole square that is 324 plus minus 24 whole square that is 576 and this is equal to square root of 900 which is equal to 30. So magnitude of minus 3 into vector A is equal to 30 which is equal to 3 into 10 that is equal to 3 into magnitude of vector A. Thus we have magnitude of minus 3 into vector A is equal to 3 into magnitude of vector A or we can write it as absolute value of minus 3 into magnitude of vector A. Therefore we have Magnitude of C into vector A is equal to absolute value of C into magnitude of vector A. Therefore, we say that length of vector A is increased C times if C is greater than 1 and length is decreased C times if 0 is less than C is less than 1. Now we will discuss scalar multiplication graphically. Now let us take vector A which is given by the ordered pair 3, 1. Now let us draw it on the coordinate plane. With any initial point we move 3 units right and 1 unit up and we reach this terminal point with arrow showing upward direction. This is vector A. Now we want to find 2 into vector A. Since 2 into vector A is equal to vector A plus vector A. So again at its terminal point draw vector A again in same direction that is moving 3 units right and 1 unit up. So we get vector 2a in same direction. From this initial point we have moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 units to right and 2 units up. So this vector is given by the ordered pair 6, 2 which is twice the magnitude of vector A and in the same direction as scalar C is greater than 0. Here C is equal to 2 and it is greater than 0. Thus in this session we have learned how to represent scalar multiplication graphically by scaling vectors and possibly reversing their direction and we have also learned how to perform scalar multiplication component wise and how to compute magnitude and direction of scalar multiple. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.